we're doing guys so today we've come out to Eve's Woods a sort of family walk today a couple of points of interest whilst on route thought you'd bring you guys along hope you enjoy the video let's go Eve's Wood is located in Silverdale, a place recognised for its outstanding beauty, offering scenic walk routes, wildflowers, birds and butterflies. A highly recommended walk, especially with children. So starting at Eve's Wood car park, parking is free. Now we head north following the path around the eastern side of the quarry. Following the path, it will take you west towards our first stop of Arnside Tower. So now heading south, we politely and peacefully pass through the caravan park, back through the woods until we reach the pepper pot to take in some amazing views over Silverdale. And so finally, we complete the circular walk by heading east through the woods back to the car park. The walk is around 3.1 miles. And if you would like to download the route, you can for free via the link in the description. Follow my adventures by subscribing below, hit that bell to stay notified, and let's adventure, let's explore, and let's create. This is a really nice area this, uh, some ancient woodland and yeah covered with ferns, you've got all the limestone paved as well so I mean I love it around Silverdale and Arnside, we come around here as a family regularly because it's only sort of 30 40 minute drive from where we live in Blackpool and I would highly recommend it to anyone that's uh, close enough to the area. Yeah go this way guys. This way. <laughs> So we've got a nice little route planned, a couple of bits, points of interest on the way as well. We've got a bit of a, uh, a ruined tower, um, we've also got uh, something called the Pepper Pot which offers some spectacular views out across Silverdale. Yeah, all the guys have just found a, the kids have just found a den. Look how cool. It's big that isn't it? Yeah. Check it out. Look, look. This must have been Ooh. a long time. Wow, is it a den? Daddy was my son and um, people at school last year built this. Did they? Oh, yes. Yeah. Here, that was that was at the place. Is it Flynn? Yeah. Um, that, was at the, <laughs> that was at the place where we saw that witch. This is cool, isn't it? Baba, be careful with that big stick. Well, I just took a big stick and I'm scared. Back here. You got a stick? Oh, it's two inches. Yes, yeah, leave your stick. Uh, big. I'll take your yeah. stick. <laughs> You're quiet, Sammy. You can hear the music. Look like this is uh, in any longer use. That might be a good water camp spot up there out of the way. On the cliff sides. So this is kind of what we're walking around with these woods here then guys. So we've just come past this way. I'm gonna follow this round. Should take us to what's called on that side, Arnside Tower. So we're gonna check out. We have been to that before, but it was a few years ago. Uh, didn't do any video on that. And then we're going to go round up again. And uh, just at the back up there, there's uh, the pepper pot. So it's got some spectacular views out towards Silverdale. It's like there's a lot of bike tracks here. Bike jumps been made around here as well. Definitely something I need to return back to, maybe without the kids. It's a good area for a wild camp, I'm thinking of there. 
also because it's out the way and this is like sort of fenced off and yeah I just think it'd be quite easy to get away with let's move on then guys so I've kept the kids away from this bit just on the path down here it's got about another not not far to get to uh, Onsdale Tower let's go around this quarry we're going to check that out let's go again guys Quarry again. Side tower is our next stop. That's the way, Flynn. Yeah, that way. Going that way. There is midges everywhere, though, guys. So that we can see them there. <laughs> Who's gonna get ya? <laughs> well, be careful. It's sun is lava! <laughs> <laughs> the sun is lava. You're funny. What? What? <laughs> so, um, nearly approaching the, uh, the tower now, which is our first sort of point of interest. And we've been, I mean, all around this area is Silverdale and you've got Arnside and it's all outstandingly beautiful. It's great for walks, especially with kids, because it's nothing sort of, you know, too strenuous. There is a lot of different points of interest that I've found within the area, whether it be a cave, you, you know, a nice viewpoint or being this Arnside tower that we're going to now. But um, it'd be hard to fit them all into one walk, especially with the kids. So uh, we're going to do a few. Um, over this year and in the summer. We've done them already in the past years, but I've never made videos on them, so we're returning to some of these locations to do walks and, and show you guys in the video as well. But we enjoy coming here more than anything. Um, you can see deer on occasions as well. Hard with the kids because we're so loud, but, um, but yeah, there's maybe that chance. Which... So I'll bring you back when we get to the tower then, guys. At least the kids are enjoying it, it's the main thing. Flynn's got a thing about being a zombie and chasing them both. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Nearly at the tower, Flynn. You coming out of it, yeah? Is that up there, guys? That's Onside Knot. I'm sure we'll re return here in another video, but not for today. It'd be a bit too strenuous if we were to go up that way and then back to the car park with the kids. So we're going to be heading up this way, just up here. We should be Onside Tower. That's our first point of, uh, point of interest of the day. Ready, guys? We have Arnside Tower then, guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, share it. 
Right guys, so again this is known as Arnside Tower. It's a late medieval tower house dating back to the second half of the 15th century. So it's built from the limestone rock that surrounds this area. And yeah, great little piece of history. I'm actually going to attempt to get to the top. I did last time I visited this place. I've been here on a number of occasions with the kids throughout the years because it's quite close to where we live. So um, I'm going to try and attempt it again today, guys. See if I can make it up. Let's go. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and go to the top. Now, there's some sort of circular stairs in, but they do break off a bit here. I remember this one last time. So there is a bit of a scrambly climb. So let's put the camera away just to get up this little bit here. I'll we'll bring you up when we get to the top, guys. So I'm just climbing up this bit. Probably not the safest holding the camera and doing it. <laughs> Look, I'm quite confident with my climbing. But yeah, the, it's not that hard really, but I don't want the kids to be copying me. So yeah, the, the circular staircase is actually still here. It's like it's been blocked up here. And you can get a little bit where the kids were on there. They still come up here. I always look into these sort of ruins and castles. Wow. So this actually comes all the way up, guys. Right to the top as well. Large daisies growing up here as well. There's loads of these growing around this area. Wow. Views, guys. Look the main tower of this. whilst I'm up here. This would have been the top tower bit where maybe the lookouts would have been. Like a chimney. Chimney hole there. Uh, oh pardon me, that little hole's here as well. Look at that view though guys. I think there would have been someone here you know, around the, uh, the 1400s. Just keeping watch at all times. And a lot of these were built, uh, mainly sort of uh, north of England and uh, sort of southern Scotland. It was mainly for sort of insecure areas where they just needed to keep watch in the 15th century. Yeah? <laughs> Careful, Kira. See that one side on there is totally gone. There's only that bit there that's left of it. Cap's gonna blow off. Place. See out there as well. Oh, cool. It's like the farmers bringing all the cows in. Get back down now, guys. Have a couple of pictures. It's 
so crazy to see these stairs are all still still here, this original tower. Very cool. So they have blocked it up so far. First floor upwards. See, there was also the uh, fireplace here, guys. And there was one also here. It's really shame that this has been blocked. Oh, has been blocked up from here because there is the bit underneath this, but you kids can't go up any further because you do need to do a bit of a free climb. Look at the hole in the stairs. Sammy? I can see you. Kira. Kira, Sammy. Kira, Sammy. Sa Kira. You see my hands? Oh, look. Oh, God, how did you get there? How did you actually get there? How? I'm coming back down now. Right, so I'm back down. You sort of have to shuffle up round here to get onto that other bit. But there is more of these stairs a further up. But you wouldn't think we're actually there to be fair if you didn't think we'd come have a look. Hey yeah. Uh, got to the top, Baba. What? I got to the top. <laughs> what? What? Favourite word at the minute, isn't it? What what? <laughs> Great little bit of history. Right, so that's us done for uh, Ondale Tower. Nice little bit of medieval history. And uh, yeah, we're moving on to the next sort of point of interest. Another nice little walk through this woodland. And should the next stop is the Pepper Pot. Got some nice views there, so we'll stop there for another little rest before maybe heading back to the car. Might fit another one in, we're not too sure yet, but we'll decide when we get there. But let's uh, make a move through this woodland. Make it to the Pepper Pot. Let's go. So we've just stopped off at the park, literally passing a route just to go straight up past the air. Uh, I couldn't say no to the kids to have a play for five minutes. <laughs> you okay, Flynn? I've got to help him out. Come on, Baba. See where we are. <laughs> Can hear the church bells. Papa Pot's just, I think, still over there a bit, yeah. Yeah, a bit closer to the sea, this bit here.
Nearly there. We're here. Right, so we've arrived now to the pepper pot then guys. And then, um, yeah, it's basically a, a monument, so it wasn't anything specific. It, it's been just built for show. Um, it was built for the Queen Victoria's Jubilee, and it was built in 1887. Anyway, spectacular views looking out across Silverdale. You can see the sea over that way as well, guys. It's covered in this ancient woodland. It's just, it's just beautiful. I mean, we've been coming here now for easily the past at least once every year for the past sort of three years because it's just such a, a close to us it's close to home and it's easy for the kids to climb and just on a nice day and you enjoy this beautiful view and with the ancient woodlands coming through you've got rare species of butterflies you've got deer when you're quiet on occasion it's quite hard to see with the kids like but yeah there's great wildlife great walk great view it's, it's basically got a bit of everything really you can see all the woodland around here guys it's such a beautiful area now this is only one spot that we fit today called eve's wood there is actually on sides not you've got woodland around there a couple of caves you've also got quarries over at uh what's that bit called now it's near hawes lake and um, you've got all the woodland around there you've also got this limestone pavement where up at hawes is it gate barrows i might be wrong nature reserve that's um, got some really nice, really nice limestone cracks, a bit like you've got at Malham Tor in Yorkshire Dales. But um, I'm going to cover all this area this year quite well. Um, I'm going to come out and do more walks with the kids around here and do more videos of, because we've done loads around here. We've praisely covered all of the ground, but I've just not done any videos on it. This is before I started YouTube, or when I was out last year with the kids, I held back from filming. Yeah, it's such a beautiful area, guys. See the church bells going off in the distance there as well. You all right, Sammy? She's finding bugs. <laughs> uh, one of many, many walks around this area, and I highly, highly recommend it if you haven't. So on this one, you've got two points of interest that we've managed to hit. Um, nice slow stroll. I mean, we've got a two-year-old with us, and he's actually walks most of the way. Um, usually, I've got him on my shoulders, but on this trip, he's, he's starting to really, really get his walking together now. Um, not too sure exactly on the route on this, I can't remember. I wouldn't say it's any more than sort of two, three miles on the circular, but really, really worth it. We've took our time today. It's, it's you know, we've given ourselves sort of three hours. By the time we get back to the car, it's probably pushing on three and a half hours. But yeah, and that's with quite a few stops as well. Most of all, the kids have enjoyed it. That's the main thing. So exploring, guys, isn't all about the uh, the abandoned, the dangerous, the, you know, an adventure could be anything what you make it. And then you can get out with the family, guys, into little areas like this. Where there's uh, little bits of history, ancient woodlands, you know, wildlife. It's all, it's all part of the same thing, guys. It's all about being out and about. Too many people lock themselves up watching TV, YouTube. <laughs> You know, I want to try and encourage people to get out. Not so much with the abandoned stuff, you, you know, watch away, but I don't recommend anyone else doing that. Um, but yeah, things like this, definitely.
Where's Mama? They're coming. Oh no, Flynn. <laughs> Lost it. The phone, Flynn. We missed the falcon. I think I got it a little bit. Did you get a picture of it, babe? Uh, I, need, I need a zoom lens. Yeah. Really. That is kind of a bit of a zoom one, but yeah, it's not. It's not yeah, it's not. It's too, I'm too zooming too far. Too right. Is it? Road. Right, what about the one above? So what this is saying here guys, that as you walk around, you may notice areas where the trees have been cut down. So this is basically yes, showing you, you what is here. And what we've probably seen whilst walking around as well. Yeah, it's, a, it's basically called coppicing. And what it is, is basically strengthening the roots as well as make a habitat for the insects, the other plants and other animals. So you'll see a lot of these if walking around the sort of Silverdale and the Silverdale and Onside area. It's been a really nice walk this, it's not too strenuous. The kids can enjoy it, a full circular. Can be out for a good day, bring out a packed lunch. And yeah, it's like I said earlier guys, I highly recommend it. Right, so we're back at the car park, back at the car. That's what's done for this one then guys. As always, hope you enjoy the video. A little bit different to my occasional abandoned stuff, but still fits in the same category, we're out exploring even if it's with the kids and yeah if you live in the sort of northwest area or if you're ever in this sort of area I highly recommend that walk great great walk for this one then guys that's the end of the video keep adventuring until the next time see you on the next video